confused to read before. Nope. That will drain my health. I will die. Oh, I actually survived. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm getting better at this at least. It's not still easy. I really wonder what kind of level he is. I can't really check that. Being one of the tougher enemies I've met as of yet. Maybe it's just because I suck at this boss. That has happened before. Whoa! Help, uh, help, bar, really. Come on. Okay. This is actually going better at least. I should never say that because that's when things start to go worse. The longer I can refrain from using health potions, the better. And now he will begin his victory dance. First half over.
go. Come on, yes, die. There we go, I got the scepter of the deposed king. Argyll, the deposed king, forged his mace to wheel in battle against this most hated foe. The scepter holds within it the essence of king Argus king's cold fury and freezes the blood of its victim with every strike. Goody, goody. That took a while and a couple of tries. Got it. Now I well started learning from four days attacks. And then it got better. Okay, um no. Bad, not bad, level 15, level 20 weapons. Oh, ice damage 467. And DPS goes up to 1789. It's really nice, actually. But it's one of these big weapons, isn't it? Yeah. It's really slow also. Yeah, I mean, no. Now we can try it for a little while. Did we get anything else? I got the Voyager Wabs and that's it. That's all that's good, so to speak. But we did it. Overkill to hit it with this. Actually, I want to try it out in an enemy. This scepter of mine. Let's see if it's a real hardcore killing machine. Uh, I'm going to check up on some things here after this recording session is done. Uh, the secrets of the Magus or the, the place so that I get all the directions for that. I'm not about actually saying that I will do it because it will save time. Whoa, one hit kill. Can I still not one hit with these? No. Not even close. I can one hit with that. That's nice. These won't give me much XP now. So that I will do. I will check up on that. Um, anything else? Yeah. Speaking of quests. We have done that. So we need to go back with that. Uh, we need to do the cancer square before we can do that. Does it take stones? No, no, no. Gnomes. Gnomes. Uh, I'm actually going to check if it's worth, or rather, how hidden they are. If I can find all four, see where they are. If I missed any, or if it's all in front of me. Hmm, lost relics, we have, yeah, those are just random scattered, sticks and stones, same with that, the book of the dead, also going to check the keys, where they are located, so that we know that, but uh, to begin with, uh, 
I also need to know if it's worth going to the maze now or if I should wait until I'm higher level. It actually says key on the map. Why does it say key? Because I really don't know where to use it and it doesn't really mark itself out. No, I'm going to check on that. Uh, let's just move to the maze in the meantime. Uh, we should go back and stock up on the potions first and we should also sell all the relics we have found. So that's a few. Hello. Yeah, I'm going to check what you have, but that's uh, it's really nothing worth buying right now. Not at all. Nope. But yeah. I want you to have it, but wherever would you put it? There we go. Oh, 27,000. I get more health and more wrath. That's kind of nice. Okay. Oh yes I do. Alright, uh, moving on then. Uh, let's unlock the soul laboratory's maze. At least we can go to the, his tomb and move from there. By a horse, of course. Because horses are awesome. couple of steps. I'm a poor horsey. Come on then. Oh, hello. So this is the maze. So that is unlocked. Alright, we'll break off here then so I can check up on the things I mentioned. So thank you all for watching and I will see you next session.